without gentler invitations. <clears throat> I am Cassandra Pentecost, seeker of the Chantry. <laughs> and just, uh, what are you seeking? The champion. Uh, which one? You know exactly why I'm here. Time to start talking, dwarf. They tell me you're good at it. <laughs> what do you want to know? Everything. Start at the beginning. Scouts. We will have to fight them sooner or later. Then we make our stand here. Prepare yourself. Get ready! Where are we? This playthrough will be a lot different from the one I made on Origins. Because now we have a fully voiced main character, so I won't be needing to talk as much anymore. But this also means I can't really talk as much anymore. We can't keep this up forever. Perhaps we'll be lucky and they'll run out of darkspawn. Here they come. Shall I give them a taste of my blade? Allow me. What's this? I got an invisible herlock. Alright, good start into a new game. You're doing fine? Yeah, you're doing fine. Just fine. Just fine. There's no end to them. Bullshit. That's not what really happened. Does that not match the story you've heard, Seeker? I'm not interested in stories. I came to hear the truth. What makes you think I know the truth? Don't lie to me. You knew him even before he became the champion. Even if I did, I don't know where he is now. Do you have any idea what's at stake here? Let me guess. Your precious Chantry's fallen to pieces and put the entire world on the brink of war. 
and you need the one person who could help you put it back together. The champion was at the heart of it when it all began. If you can't point me to him, tell me everything you know. You aren't worried I'll just make it up as I go? Not at all. You'll need to hear the whole story. All right, let's change this up. No. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe this is a preset I can work with. Darker skin color. The hair. Hold on. Hair color first. I guess this is the darkest one they have. Now let's be bold. Uh, no stubble right now, but beard. Wait, no. That was the color. Um, where's the beard? There's the beard. Yeah, sure. And now I can't change mouth or jaws anymore because of the beard. Which is weird. And nose. There. Bit bigger. And a bit wider. Yeah. Yeah. The eyes. A bit more squinted. And a bit bigger. I mean, everything I do will just look weird, no matter, no matter what. So the brow, more height, yeah, sure. And wait, eye color, something yellowish, yes. Neck and ears. Can change the ears. Thicker neck. Yeah, sure. Name. And let's import. Of course. Um, yes. Yes. Now let's get into this. On Nightmare. The Blight had been unleashed on Ferelden. Dark spawn poured out of the wilds, clashing against the army at the ruins of Ostagar. The battle was a disaster. King Kalin died on the field with his men, betrayed by his most trusted general. Unopposed, the horde marched on the village of Lothering. The village burned, and many innocents were slaughtered. The champion's family barely escaped in time. I think that's all of them. For the moment, make us save us. We've lost it all. Everything your father and I built. At least we're alive. That's no small feat. Yes. You're right. We should have run sooner. Why did we wait so long? Why are you looking at me? I've been running since Ostagar. Not to interrupt, but the Blight's not going to wait while we stand here pointing fingers. Please, listen to your brother. Then let's go. Lead on.
So, just like in Origins, I'm going to play an apostate. Let's see how long this lasts. Trying to cover up the magic from, well, at least some people. You, please, a fireball. Fireball, please. Come on, that shield looks rather small. Also learn fireball. That should come in handy. Everyone alright? Oh our dog bought it. Yeah, our dog is also slightly modded. Let's see where we can get with this. Away from the darkspawn, where else? And then where? We can't just wander aimlessly. So long as we wander aimlessly away from the Horde, I'm happy. We can go to Kirkwall. Well, that wouldn't be my first choice. There's a lot of Templars in Kirkwall, Mother. I know that. But we still have family there. And an estate. Ah. <sighs> then we need to get to Guaran and take ship. If we survive that long, I'll just be happy to get out of here. Focus on this. I breathe. Okay, they're all down. And what about you? Yep, yeah, that, that, that was just a good shield bash. Which somehow hit several of them at the same time. It was totally not magic, right? Right. And actually, let's stay back a bit. So they, they, can, they can handle this. Our dog is helping out a bit. And nothing bad ever comes of this, right? Well, we are replenishing um, our totally not mana and our totally health. Do I have any other equipment? Well, not really. See, they, they, they can handle this, this is fine. We don't need to intervene. Yeah, no need to worry. Maybe a little bit of shield bash. There. See, we're helping. Unlike you, you're not helping at all.
Stop squirming, Wesley. You'll make it worse. Apostate, keep your distance. Well, the Maker has a sense of humor. <laughs> Darkspawn and now a Templar. I thought they all abandoned Lothering. The spawn are clear in their intent, but a mage is always unknown. The order dictates. Wesley. The order dictates. Dear, they saved us. The Maker understands. Of course. I am Aveline Valen. This is my husband, Sir Wesley. We can hate each other when we're safe from the Horde. Uh, w what do you mean, mage? We're totally not mages. The wrath of the Templars is terrible indeed. More so their wives. But as long as there is a greater danger, you and I have an accord. Thank you, Wesley. For now, we move with you. North is cut off. We barely escaped the main body of the Horde. Then we're trapped. The wilds are to the south, that's no way out. If the options are south or die, I'll take my chances with south. Blast, maybe Winter's Grasp. Yeah, let's go with Winter's Grasp. And you. Um. Yeah, sure, mighty blow. All right. Really? So, uh, since you're already thinking of us as mages, might as well. I didn't mod the cooldown on this. Seriously. Okay. That's weird. That's really weird. Oh. We're actually kind of in trouble. What are you doing? Oh, oh. I don't like where this is going. That was bad. Uh, I don't like having to use potions already. Really. Um, let's get some distance. Goodness, you. Maybe you can do this, and maybe I can also do something in order to 
not save Evelyn. I mean, yeah, this is not nightmare. I get it, but even so, yeah, there you go. Let's get rid of you and you. So weird. And yeah, sorry for the injury, which isn't great. Wait, no, oh, you're not injured. Ah, oh, good to know. Seriously, something is weird with the. Re cooldown on those spells. I didn't change anything about it. And you didn't do anything. Alright, let's continue. Okay. They're coming from there. Somehow I expect him to come from behind again. Uh, are they coming? No? I thought I triggered them. Apparently not. There you are. Can I trigger you? so close here. What is that at a higher range? Oh, goodness me, what's going on here? Alright, let, let's continue with this. This is weird, but... I want to zoom out. Don't think I got all of them. Oh, that's interesting. Reinforcements. And now they're coming from behind. Yeah, let the dog do something first. Somehow this is really weird. Can I grab this? From here? Yes. A ring. Better than nothing. see you I would like to cast blizzard and tempest on you but I can't all right where's my dog there you are all right I don't like the look of looks of this and here we go again. yes here we go again What is hitting me? Ah, I should have picked a healing spell. You. 
I don't know why everyone else is holding the position except for Kava. Maybe you can do this. Yes. And maybe run back. Actually, you can do this again. That's right. No, I can't. This way I can hit three. Okay. What is it with these recharge rates? Uh, cooldown times. This is super weird. I mean, I'm still limited by the mana and such. Okay. Carva is down, but... And there's more coming, great. Nope, this is not good. You too. Goes the emissary. There comes my dog. And let's hope we can do this without Bethany falling. And yeah, now there's no. You run. Let's try to keep your life a little bit longer. Okay, you know what? There. Take a staff. While I run back. What is hitting me? This is so hard. I mean, yes, it's nightmare difficulty, sure, but somehow I've done this much better in the past. Sixty-three, very slowly healing. Yeah, but I think it's a safer way to... Yeah, wait for more mana, more health and such. Are you healing? Yes, you are. Also very slowly. What does the map say? Just one Herlock Boulder. Alright. If it's just one Herlock Boulder... Oh, good thing they, they're not attacking you. Help, so somebody, they do anybody. respect non-combatants. Which is nice. It's not what you expect from a mindless horde. A supposed mindless horde. Here we go. Quickly, before they regroup. We must press towards the wilds. And let's get healing. Th this is not good, this way.
And what can you do? You do have a shield. More defense on the shield. And so this. What does this immobilize you? No, you're moving. What did you have? Hardly anything. There is something. Alright. I can't do that. Yeah, no one can do that. Oh. More health potions, that's good. Where was the other one? Here. Oh. Oh yeah, Let, let's take that one. Yes. That's one of those restored... Uh, restored items that were normally unavailable. Can you heal? Well, not for long. You don't have a shield, so let's take this instead. Now, this doesn't look familiar at all. Hello? Anyone home? No? Okay, then let me just real quick sneak. Oh, there we go. There we go again. Make it give me strength. How am I supposed to do this? Taking too long for this one. This is not good. This is really not good. No, I fall here, that's it. No way. Yes, I sure am. Can any one of you heal? No, you cannot. And I can only get more Lyrium, which gives me heal spell. And now I can try to catch up with you. Okay, you can heal. Which I will probably regret soon enough, because now I'm out of... And 
Deco's Kava. Oh. I have to heal. I have to refresh mana. This is no good. This is no good at all. Oh, my dog is still doing some work. That's good. I take it. Probably can do this one. Oh, did my dog killed the ogre. That's good. That's really good. Could you also kill this Sherlock? Maybe? No good. Need to heal. I'm sorry, mistress. Your daughter is gone. No! These things will not take Bethany. She... you. Yeah. Bethany risked her life to save us. I don't want a hero. I want my daughter. How could you let her charge off like that? Oh, my poor little girl. My sweetheart. If we stand here weeping, the Darkspawn will take the rest of us, too. Allow me to commend your daughter's soul to the Maker, Mistress. Ashes we were, and ashes we become. Maker, give this young woman a place at your side. Let us take comfort in the peace she has found in eternity. I will never forget you, Bethany. Our lives are more valuable to her than our prayers. Let's go. Flames. We're too late. I knew this would happen. All right. Let's give us a retreat route first. Okay, I'm gonna hit my dog. Okay, one path is secure. Yeah, this is much easier by comparison. I'm saying that just as Evelyn drops low. Yeah, Evelyn, go down. I mean, not. There's no end to them. Never got visitors to the wild, but now it seems they arrive in hordes. Impressive. Where'd you learn how to turn into a dragon? Perhaps I am a dragon. If so, count yourself lucky. The smell of burning darkspawn does nothing for the appetite. If you wish to flee the darkspawn, you should know you are heading in the wrong direction. 
So you're just going to leave us here? And why not? I spotted the most curious sight. A mighty ogre vanquished. Who could perform such a feat? But now my curiosity is sated and you are safe for the moment. Is that not enough? You can show me that trick of yours. That looks useful. <laughs> I dare say it is. Such a clever tongue for a mage. Tell me, clever child. How do you intend to outrun the Blight? We're going to Kirkwall, in the Free Marches. Kirkwall? My, but that is quite the voyage you plan. So far, simply to flee the Darkspawn. Any better suggestions? I hear the deep roads are vacant now. <laughs> oh, you I like. Hurtled into the chaos, you fight, and the world will shake before you. Is it fate or chance? I can never decide. It appears fortune smiles on us both today. I may be able to help you yet. Anything you could do for us would be appreciated. Should we even trust her? We don't even know what she is. I know what she is. The Witch of the Wilds. Some call me that. Also Flemeth, Asha Bellinar, an old hag who talks too much. <laughs> Does it matter? I offer you this. I will get your group past the Horde in exchange for a simple delivery to a place not far out of your way. Would you do this for a Witch of the Wilds? Roast a few more Darkspawn, I'll do anything you want. Sadly, my charity is at an end. There is a clan of Dalish elves near the city of Kirkwall. Deliver this amulet to their keeper, Marathari. Do as she asks with it, and any debt between us is paid in full. Before I take you anywhere, however, there is another matter. <coughs> no, leave him alone. What has been done to your man is within his blood already. You lie! She's right, Aveline. I can feel the corruption inside me. There must be something we can do. The only cure I know of is to become a Grey Warden. And they all died at Ostagar. Not all, but the last are now beyond your reach. Aveline, listen to me. You can't ask me this. I won't. Please. The corruption is a slow death. I can't. He's your husband, Aveline. I can't decide his fate. Without an end, there can be no peace. It gets no easier. Your struggles have only just begun. Flemeth! I thought that might interest you. You expect me to believe a myth swooped out of the wild to save the champion? Oh, come now, Seeker. Do I need to recite the tale of the Warden as well? If you believe the stories, mankind's pride gave rise to the Darkspawn. 
Countless in number and toxic to all life, Darkspawn search endlessly for an archdemon. When they find one, Darkspawn armies surge up from their corrupt barrows beneath the ground, and a blight begins. Grey Wardens are the only warriors capable of destroying an archdemon, and history always honors the one who sacrifices all to kill the beast. In the fifth blight, the Warden was the hero of Ferelden. An elf raised in the Denerim's close-knit, impoverished alienage. The unlikely hero joined in a fight for elven rights, drawing the wrath of Denerim's nobility. Duncan, a Grey Warden, pressed the young elf into the Warden's service to escape. The allied Ferelden and Grey Warden forces met in Ostagar, where King Kaelin's armies and a host of Wardens gathered, ready to destroy the Darkspawn. But Valor turned to despair as Loghain betrayed his king. Kaelin's forces were slaughtered, and the South was lost. The hero, now a full-fledged Grey Warden, survived with the aid of Flemeth, the mysterious Witch of the Wilds. Joined by Flemeth's daughter, Morrigan, and a Grey Warden named Alistair, the hero set out to build an army strong enough to abolish the Blight. With the traitorous Loghain now seated on Ferelden's throne, the Warden sought help from the influential Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. However, they arrived in Redcliffe to find the town under siege, as each night, undead rose in waves and assailed the battered village. With the hero's help, the people of Redcliffe stood fast against the undead horde. The Wardens reached Arl Eamon's castle only to find the Arl lying at the edge of death and his court fallen into madness. To save his father's life, Eamon's young son, Connor, had made a deal with a demon and quickly fallen victim to its possession. The hero intervened, freeing Connor from possession and breaking the demon's hold over Redcliffe. But deals with demons are never straightforward. The demon agreed only to save Eamon's life, not restore him to health. Arl Eamon needed a miracle to recover. The hero located an urn containing the sacred ashes of Andraste, which were said to cure any ailment. The urn was protected by ancient traps, tests of will, and a dragon-worshipping cult that wanted to twist the urn's power to its own ends. The cultists encouraged the hero to profane the ashes with dragon's blood, which caused the urn and its contents to shatter. With a pinch of the ashes, the hero restored the Arl to health. Informed of Loghain's treachery, Eamon swore his political and military support. The circles of Magi are bound by oath to aid the Grey Wardens in times of blight. However, Lake Kalanad's tower could offer little help. One of its mages, Uldred, had become possessed by a pride demon and was twisting other circle mages into abominations. The hero fought to the top of the tower and defeated Uldred, saving the remaining mages. Grateful for their lives, the mages joined the Warden's army. The allies gained at the circle were not the only soldiers to join the Warden's forces, however. Dalish Elves don't usually make alliances, but even deep hatred can be set aside in the face of oblivion. An ancient curse was destroying Ferelden's largest Dalish clans, turning the Elves into werewolves. Zathrian, the clan's keeper, claimed that the cure required the heart of the great wolf, Witherfang. Years before, Zathrain himself had afflicted a group of humans with the curse that now ravaged his clan. As long as he lived, the curse endured. The hero freed the werewolves from the long-standing curse, and the Dalis joined the Warden's forces. Blights may happen hundreds of years apart, but the dwarves who live below the surface of Thetis fight Darkspawn every day. No one is better schooled in battling Darkspawn than the warriors of Orzammar, except perhaps their allies of old. The Grey Wardens. The hero arrived in Orzammar in the wake of King Endrin's death to find political factions fighting for control of the dwarven capital. Only the vote of a venerated paragon could break the deadlock to elect a ruler. 
and order the dwarves to honor their Grey Warden Treaty and join the battle against the New Blight. The hero set off to find a paragon named Branca, who had disappeared into the Deep Roads in search of a legendary artifact, the Anvil of the Void, created by the renowned smith Caradon to forge mighty war golems. The hero helped Caradon destroy the Anvil of the Void, along with the dark secrets that could trap a living soul inside a mechanical construct. The hero emerged from the deep roads with a master-forged crown to bestow the Paragon's favor upon whichever rival candidate would be crowned king. Balin, the youngest son of King Andrin, who was suspected of foul play, or Haramont, the aging traditionalist backed by the Dwarven Assembly. Balin followed his father to the throne. He leads with a ruthless but progressive hand, seeking to re-establish ties to the surface kingdoms. With Dwarden's strength now bolstering the Warden's army, the hero had to deal with Loghain so Ferelden could stand unified against the Darkspawn before the Blight swallowed the world. The kingdom of Ferelden stood divided. While some nobles supported Loghain's regency, others condemned his inaction against the Darkspawn. Civil war brewed, and Arl Eamon called a landsmeet in hopes of curtailing the conflict and removing Loghain from the throne. Loghain was found guilty of treason, and the hero carried out his execution in Denerim's palace. As the Warden's united army massed in Redcliffe, the Darkspawn overran Denerim, laying siege to Ferelden's capital city. The hero's army fought valiantly through Denerim and broke the Darkspawn's siege. On Fort Dracon's highest tower, the hero's strongest allies fought alongside the Warden in a final heroic battle against the massive Archdemon. Alistair made a Grey Warden's ultimate sacrifice, giving his life to kill the Archdemon and end the Blight. With no Archdemon to lead them, the Darkspawn scattered. Most fled underground, still teeming in number and always seeking a new Archdemon to awaken. The shattered kingdom of Ferelden embarked on a long journey to recovery. In the Blight's aftermath, strong leadership was crucial. Honora McTeer, daughter of Terran Loghain and widow of King Caelan, assumed the throne of Ferelden after the Fifth Blight was ended. Ferelden still stands, as obstinate and resolute as the Dog Lords ever are but the events of the Fifth Blight loom over it as the nation rebuilds. For people across Thetis, legends of the hero of Ferelden remain the nation's brightest beacons of hope during its darkest times. Perhaps I shouldn't be surprised to hear of her involvement. I liked my version better too. What else aren't you telling me then? Did she send someone with the champion? In a matter of speaking. So it's true. Continue. But if you tell me they all flew to Kirkwall on a dragon... Nothing so fanciful, I assure you. The witch kept her word and got them to Guaran, where they took ship. They sailed north across the waking sea, lashed by terrible storms. Two weeks they spent in that dark hold, packed in with the fearful and the desperate. And then they saw it. Kirkwall, the city of chains. Long ago it was part of the Imperium, slaves coming from far and wide to work the quarries. Now, it's a free city, but I use the word loosely. Sail through those black cliffs and you'll see what the slaves of old saw. The gallows, welcoming you. That's where their ship landed, with all the rest.
They're not letting anyone into the city. What? That can't be. It's true. Look at them all. Are we really surprised? Everyone's fleeing the Blight. Just as we are. And they would throw us all back to the wolves. Unbelievable. I'm only surprised they let us dock. We need to find Gamlin. Our family has always been highly regarded in Kirkwall. He can do something, I'm sure of it. Let's hope he received your letter. The guards seem to be reporting to that man. Perhaps we should speak to him. Anything over here? Not a big boat, actually. And weirdly constructed, I might add. Having multiple sails on this small scale? Just too much effort. So, you please? Why can't I talk to you? I wanna... I just want to talk to you. What if I... Walk Get back by? to oh. the crowd, you lot. Trying to bully your way through won't get you into Kirkwall any faster. But you do intend to let us in. <laughs> we have enough poor of our own in the free marches. We don't need you refugees piling up here like a midden's heap. There must be someone in charge I can speak with. <sighs> yes, yes, always the same story. You want in, talk to Captain Yule. I'm just here to keep you refuse from climbing the walls. And now I can talk to you. Tell me, how did your family escape Lothering? Almost everyone who hadn't fled. My brother. If he wasn't with us, I don't think we'd be here. But you seem quite skilled as well. I'm not my brother. Kirkwall has been sealed, he cannot enter. What you want? Mon Let us oh. through, you flaming blighter. We're not staying in this pit. Then get back on your ship and leave. Kirkwall has no more room for refugees. The ship's already gone. We pay good coin to get here. You and half of Ferelden. There's nothing I can do. The city is full. Surely there's a bit of extra room for the pretty people. I find keeping my neck away from Knight Commander Meredith Blade far more attractive than any of you. We've been letting you Ferelden's in for months. You're too late. There's no more room. But we've got family here. I've heard claims like that a thousand times already, trust me. We'll find some ships to take you all back to Ferelden, eventually. Until then, you stay here. Surely there's someone higher up that we could persuade? The city's been closed by order of the Viscount and Knight Commander Meredith, whose fortress you're standing in. But as far as you're concerned, I'm in charge. If you find our uncle, Gamlin Amel, you might just have a few less refugees bothering you. Gamlin? I know that name. He's a nobleman here in the city. Our family has an estate. A nobleman? The only Gamlin I know is a weasel who couldn't rub two coppers together. He comes back, I'll bring you to him. But I don't have time to... What? You're gonna let them through? I didn't say anything about... We've been here for four days! They just got here! That's it! We're carving our way out of here! Men! And... Okay... Let's get our dog in here. And then let's get some distance. Except no, let's go for the for these archers. How about a shield bash? That's good, right? Yeah, you, you're not so str as strong as those darkspawn. Yeah, you're really not. Let's let's get this archer. Let the city guard deal with the melee fighters for now. Well, most of them. Another archer to take out. Yeah, this is really not as hard as 
Let's do this. Dark spawn back home. What abilities do you even have? Alright, oh, this stuff. Pommel strike? Yeah, sure, why not? You got most of them. Where? Oh, now there's more. Let's take the archer. I am. No thanks to you. Where is everyone? Go find them. I want this kept under control. You have my thanks. Look, I can't get you into the city. It's not my decision. But I'll find your uncle and bring him here. It's been three days. This waiting has to end. I'm sure it won't be much longer. Gamlin must still be looking for us. And if he's not? Don't look now, but I think that's our man. Leandra! Damn girl, the years haven't been kind to you. Gamlin! Let me say up front, I wasn't expecting this. The Blight, your husband... dead. I'd, uh, figured you'd pretty much be Ferelden for life. Oh, Gamlin. We came too late. My darling Bethany didn't make it. And Drastic guided her. Oh, make her save me. Leandra, don't drop this on me here. I don't even know if I can help you get in. I'm more concerned about Mother. Can you get her in at least? No. We stay together. I was hoping to grease some palms, but the Knight Commander's been cracking down. We're gonna need more grease. But what about the estate? Surely Father left something when he died? Right, about the estate. It's, um, gone. To settle a debt. I've been meaning to write you. Then there's no hope. N not quite. I know some people who might help. If you're not too delicate about the company you keep. What do you mean exactly, Gamlin? I talked to my contacts, and I found some people who might be willing to pay your way into the city. The catch is, you and your brother will have to work off the debt. For a year. A year? It's the best I could do. Trust me when I say a bunch of refugees won't get a better option anywhere else. So you're selling us into indentured servitude? That's your idea? Think of it as having a job waiting for you in your new home. I guess it's only a year, right? I managed to convince my contacts to come to the gallows to meet you personally. Miran heads up the mercenary company, the Red Iron. They're looking for recruits. A Fenril. I guess you might call her a smuggler. Either one of them can help you. All you need to do is find them in the courtyard and convince them you're worth the trouble. How dangerous is this smuggler's work? Well, it won't be pretty working for her. She's a pretty small fish compared to some of the other thieves' guilds around here. But she's tough, she's fair, and she never deals in slaves or flesh. What kind of man is this, Miran? He's a hired sword. What do you expect him to be like? I wouldn't bring him home for dinner or anything, but he's got a decent reputation. I wouldn't have asked him if I thought he'd cross you. Let's find them and see what they have to say. Oh, Gamlin, I don't know about this. It's a lot of coin, Leandra. 
Don't go expecting our name to carry the kind of weight it used to. And what of me? I will not allow others to incur debts on my behalf. <laughs> Can't see that it makes a difference. You look like a lady who can pull her own weight. Then you'll come with us. I... have no real option. Thank you. I have to deactivate this stuff. Just in case there are some Templars around or such. Oh, wait. Uh, we waited for days and only now they're being cleaned up? This place must smell worse than the deep roads. So, let's talk to you. So you're Hawk, the nephew. Your uncle talked up a storm about you. He better not be blowing more smoke out his ass. I'd like to know more about you first. Right. You're not a marcher like your uncle. The Red Iron is well known in these parts. We pick who we work for and keep our noses clean. But anyone screws with us, we mess them up. Makes sense. Makes sense. All I know is if we join the company, I'm going to start talking like that. My uncle doesn't seem the sort to hang out with mercenaries. He doesn't. Gamlin cheated one of my men at a wallet match. You turn out, we'll call it even. Getting us into the city will take a lot of coin. <laughs> Did I mention the Red Iron gets paid pretty well? Not to mention your uncle said you were a mage. We're willing to pay for that. I didn't realize Gamlin told you that. You stick with us. You'll be safe. For a year, at least. I'll find some other way into the city. Let me know how that works out for you. Yeah, we're trying to keep a secret and our uncle just keeps on talking. Are you a Fenril? He must be Gamlin's nephew. Interesting. I don't know what he told you about us, but he certainly told us a great deal about you. Uh, how much exactly? Enough to pique our interest, provided you can justify your uncle's confidence. I'd like to know more about what we'd be doing for you. I can be honest. We don't compete with the Thieves' Guild, but we keep our fingers in a lot of pods. That said, we're not killers or slavers. Anything short of that, however, is fair game. Do what you want, but this sounds fishy to me. Begging and taking your pick never went hand in hand. I hear getting us into the city isn't cheap. If you're as good as your uncle claims, we're hoping you'll be worth it. After all, it's not every day we're offered an apostate services. Does everyone know about us? If the Circle hasn't descended upon you, my guess is no. The Templars in Kirkwall like to think they have all mages properly leashed, but when has that ever been true? We can keep them from taking notice while you're with us. Wouldn't be the first time. How did you get to be one of my uncle's contacts? Is that what he calls me? He owes us after that last big idea. If you turn out, though, we'll consider things even. Tell me what you need done. There's a merchant named Cavril, friend of the Templars, so they let him set up his little shop here in the Gallows. We supplied him in return for a piece of the take, but now he won't pay up. We can't go near him without him screaming for the guard, but you can. Get our money from him and you're in. All right, so let's walk around the corner and have a talk. I've already told you, I can't give you any more for them. But that was everything we have. It's all we brought with us. And I feel for you, Sarah, but it's the best I can do. If they just let us into the city, I could get three times that price. <sighs> Myron. 
Your business is done. But... Oh. Now then, what can I do for you, Saran? I believe you owe your business partners something. Oh, I see. Should I go tell the guards? Not just yet. I want to hear this. So, Ethenril sent you to collect, did she? Too cowardly to do it herself. Care to step in here? Only because this toad deserves it. You have a choice. Pay, or I beat it out of you, and your men. Hey! Stay back. Just... Uh, take what's in the chest. Take it all. Now I'm getting out of here. Let those guards find someone else to buy Dogland junk. All set. Two gold. Well, that's something. So, yeah. Job well done, just around the corner. You could have given us something more challenging. Will you look at that? Tell your uncle we'll make the arrangements. Welcome aboard. Alrighty. What else do we want? Something that's not too suspicious. Shield defense specialist. Right, we got that. Yeah, higher attack. At least for now. Any luck? Was there ever any doubt? I'll speak to Athenril and see when the bribes can be made. Wait here. I guess we did it. We're here to stay, at least for a while. No more running for our lives unless we really have to. If only Bethany were here with us. And Wesley. Well, we're off to a fantastic start. Let's see what else this city has in store. <laughs> 